Hello, welcome to Dell Networking Infrastructure Solutions. This video provides an example of the deployment of Smart Fabric Services on the Dell PowerEdge MX platform. In this deployment example, we use the Dell PowerEdge MX 750C containing a single QLogic mezzanine card. In fabric slots A1 and A2, two MX9116N fabric switching engines, one in each chassis, and two MX7116N fabric expander modules, one in each chassis. The scalable fabric dual chassis topology is connected as shown in the diagram. The leaf switches used are a pair of Dell Networking S5232 ON switches. Compute sleds connect to the MX9116N FSC on internal ports 1 through 16. The MX9116N FSC IOMs are in VLT and connected by using USFP28 double density cables. Each MX7116N FEM connects to the opposite FSC using a QSFP28 double density cable. Both MX9116N connect to LEAF1 and LEAF2 and are logically grouped together in port channel 1. The two LEAF switches are in VLT. This example will cover the configuration of the LEAF switches, the creation of VLANs and the smart fabric, designation of uplinks, and the deployment of server templates and profiles. This section reviews the configuration settings of the S5232 ON leaf switch used in this Layer 2 deployment example. All the switches used in this example have been assigned a host name, management IP address, and a default gateway. Define VLAN 10 for Company A general purpose traffic and the MX9116N on both chassis. Confirm that the VLT port channel 1 command is used. Change the port mode to trunk and define the VLANs allowed. Ports 1 and 3 are members of port channel 1. Dynamic lag is created using LACP. Ports 30 and 31 are used as VLT interconnects. The two leaf switches are in VLT domain 1. Define the backup destination as the management IP address of the VLT peer switch. In OS 10, VLT configuration involves setting a discovery interface that discovers and connects to a VLT peer in the VLT interconnect. After configuration of the leaf switches, access the OME modular GUI. Create VLAN 10 for the network. Click Configuration and then VLANs. Click the Define button. The Define Network Wizard displays. In the required fields, enter the VLAN name, description, VLAN ID, and then select an appropriate network type. In this example, General Purpose Bronze is selected. Click Finish. To create a smart fabric, Click Devices, select Fabric, and then click the Add Fabric button. In the fields provided, enter the name and description for the fabric, then click Next. From the Design Type dropdown, select the appropriate design type. In this example, two MX9116N fabric switching engines in different chassis is selected. Select a chassis X and its associated switch A. Select a chassis Y and its associated switch B. Click Next. Verify the information provided on the summary screen, then click Finish. Smart Fabric deployment process can take several minutes to complete. All IOMs in the Smart Fabric reload, and the operating mode changes from Full Switch mode to Smart Fabric mode. Once complete, the Fabric window displays the new Smart Fabric object. You can check the VLAN item list and see that VLAN 1 has been created with the Smart Fabric. Click the Smart Fabric name to access the Fabric Details window. Note the critical warning icon displayed for the health of the fabric. This is an expected behavior at this point. The critical warning is resolved after the uplinks are added to the fabric. Click Add Uplink. In the fields provided, enter a name and description. Select the uplink type. Choose Ethernet No Spanning Tree as the selected uplink type. Click Next. Select the appropriate switch ports for each FSE. Define the VLANs to be used on this uplink. Select a tag network and an untag network. The default untag network is VLAN 1. Note that an Add Network button is provided as an option to create additional VLANs within this wizard. 
When complete, click Finish. Once the uplinks are added, the fabric status turns green. The overview section gives information on uplinks, switches, servers, and ISL links. Click on the topology section to get additional details. A server template contains a set of parameters that are extracted from a server and replicated quickly to multiple servers. To create a server template, select Configuration, Templates. Click Create Template and then choose From Reference Device. In the fields provided, enter the name and description, then click Next. Click Select Device, then choose the reference server and click Finish. Next, select the elements to clone. In our example, the IDRAC, System, and NIC are selected. Click Finish. Once the server template is created, associate the template with a network. Select Server Template, then Edit Network. Associate the template with an identity pool if desired. Click Next. For each mezzanine card and port, select the untagged and tagged networks. Click Finish. In this example, VLAN 1 is selected for the untagged network and VLAN 10 is selected for the tagged network. To deploy the server template, select the server template and click Deploy Template. Choose Yes. Next, click Deploy to Devices. Click Select Sleds. Select a chassis, choose a server, and then repeat for the next chassis if desired. Click Finish. Select Do Not Forcefully Reboot Post OS option if a reboot is not desired. Keep the Don't Change IP Settings option as default. Keep the schedule as Run Now. Click Finish, then choose Yes. The server profile is a combination of template and identity settings that are applied to a specific server or multiple servers. Profiles can be used to deploy servers with modified attributes based on the server template. A single profile can be applied to multiple server templates with modified attributes or all attributes. This eliminates the need to delete or recreate additional server templates. To create a server profile, select Configuration, Profile. Click Create, and then choose a server template. In the fields provided, enter the name and description, then click Next. Click Finish. Select the newly created profile, click Edit. In this example, we'll only change the server's hostname attribute. Within the Target Attributes screen, choose System, Server Operating System, then Server Hostname. Enter a new hostname. Click Finish. Select the profile of the desired server that is actively deployed. Click Unassign, then click Finish. Select the newly created profile and click Assign. Click Yes. Select Target, Deploy to Devices, Select Sleds, Choose the desired chassis and server, then click Finish. Select Schedule and keep the default Run Now. Click Finish. The profile has now been deployed and the new hostname has been assigned. For additional information, see the Dell PowerEdge MX Smart Fabric Deployment Guide. Thank you for watching this video.